Okay, so now we're going to start up our virtual machine and go through the setup and then we're going to configure things for local access. Then after that, we're going to set it up so that we can access it from the internet. All right, so let's start. This starts the virtual machine and virtual box. So it'll pop a little window here in a sec, which will go through some commands. And when it gets to the end, everything is ready to go. Okay, so when it's all done, this is what you see. At this point, your server is actually running. Now, if you want, you can log in here and then you can change the password, but you can do that without actually logging in here at all if you want. So right now, it says up here the different ways we can access it. And you'll see that we have here HTTPS. This does not work when you're running VirtualBox, at least it doesn't in my case, I've never been able to make this work, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be accessing another way anyway. But to get to your local host right now, this is your web host. For your install, you go to http colon slash slash localhost colon 8888. 8888 is your port number. Okay, so let's go to the browser and let's go to that address. Okay, so here we are after we go to localhost colon 8888 or whatever your port number was that was on the end that was assigned. And then you have the different ways that you can access it here. So the one we're going to be using is the one with the secure port. So 443 or 4443, if you see something like that, that's going to be the secure port. So that's how we're going to want to get to our site securely. And that's going to be important once we set up the access from the internet. But from here, you can get to it any of these ways that you like. But I'm just going to click on this one and we're going to go to own cloud. So this will bring up the interface that everybody uses to log in. And here it is. So when somebody is accessing your own cloud from the internet, whether it's you or somebody that you set up, this is what is going to be presented here. Okay, so let's log in. And now we are in the main part of own cloud. Now there's several things we can do within here. And we're going to go into more detail later. At the moment, I want to show you how you can get this thing accessible from the internet. And then we're going to come back to this and we're going to go over the functions you can do within own cloud. In order to set up internet access to our server, we need to go and make sure that we have a static IP address for our particular machine. Okay, so what we want to do is go to network and internet, and then we want to go over to network and sharing center. And then we want to go over here to change adapter settings. I've already done this on mine, but I'll show you how to do it. So you want to find your active connection. So I'm using this wireless connection right here. So right click on that and click on status. Okay, and then this window pops up. And then if you go over to details here, this will show you your current IP address. Okay, so I've set this I've set this myself so it doesn't get an automatic IP address, but it always uses this. So I don't have to worry about this changing. And this becomes important, and I'll show you why in, in a little while. Okay, so let's let's close that for a sec. So what we want to do now is go down to Properties. Okay, and then we want to go down here until we see the TCP IP 4, this one here. So Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP PNP and then click on properties over here now this is where I set mine up but normally you're probably going to have this one up here checked obtain an IP address automatically so what you want to do is change it to this and then your subnet mask 
will probably appear by itself. But if it doesn't, it will after you put in your gateway address. Your gateway address is the same address you use to log into your router. So usually 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1 are the usual candidates. Okay, and then once you've done that, you need to put the address in up here that you want to use all the time. You should probably pick one in the upper range of the numbers on the right here because they're usually assigned from smaller to higher by the computer itself. And then you need to make sure that the first three groups are the same as the three groups for your gateway. Okay, and then you can change your DNS server settings down here to 8888 and 8844. These are the Google DNS settings. Okay, once you've done that, you can apply that and close. After that, a troubleshooting wizard will come up and you can let it go through there and make sure that you have a proper connection. Okay, so it's very important that you do that first step and that, that will give your computer a static IP address on your network. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is go and find out what our IP address is for our router. People are going to get in through our router indirectly, so we need to know the IP address of that, and then we need to set up port forwarding. So open a new tab here. Okay, so what we need to do is go to what's my IP address. Okay, so I use what's my IP address .com, or you can just search on Google for what's my IP address, all one word, and then it'll show you your IP address. So all you want to do is grab that and save it in a notepad somewhere because you're going to need it later. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is log into our router. Now the procedure for doing port forwarding is different on different routers. So I'm going to show you on the one I'm using. It's a DCP3825 by Cisco. And it may be the same or similar to what you're using. But you need to set up port forwarding. And you often find this in applications and gaming. So we'll go in there. And then we want to go to port range forwarding. You may have something just called port forwarding. Okay, now I've already set this up for a pre, uh, another computer. But what you want here is just exactly what you see on my top line here, except I need to change this to 197. Okay, so we have the port number is 4443. Okay, and that's the same as what we saw back here. Remember, we were accessing the secure server. And this is the number here, 4443. So that's what you want to use in the port forwarding. So have the first ones, startup port, are the same. So 4443 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, to 4443. 40, 40, 40. Then the address I picked, 192.168.0.197. And then you put them in again here, 4443, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 43. Leave this at both and enable. Okay, so now we save our settings. Okay, now I can access this from the internet from any machine now by putting in the HTTPS colon slash slash my IP address colon 4443. So let's give that a try. Okay, so this is the string I'm going to put in HTTPS colon slash slash my IP address colon 4443. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open a new window here and I'm going to paste it in here. Now this will be coming in from outside of my own machine. This is coming in over the internet. Okay, and as you see, we got an error here because it doesn't know about this domain yet. It's coming in from outside of our local host. So it popped this up here. So what we need to do is put that into trusted domains. Now clicking on this isn't going to work because it doesn't know our port number. So let's copy the link location out of here. 
and then let's put it in notepad for a second okay so here is the url it has here but the problem is that we have localhost here so what we need to put here now is 4443 which is our secure port so colon 4443 after localhost and then the rest of it can stay the way it is now let's copy this and make sure we're logged in first and paste it in and hit enter Okay, and then we just click yes. And now that's added to our trusted domains. So anytime you access it from the internet, from a new domain name, that's gonna happen. So all you have to do is change the port number and then come in here and add it to the trusted domain. Okay, so we're gonna try it from the internet again. This address that's in the browser bar is still from here, so https colon slash slash my IP address colon 4443. So let's click that again. And now we are accessing own cloud through the internet.